Welcome to the second episode of Newsday. I have three more interesting articles lined up, and since this weekly series is still finding its footing, I had an idea to try and spice things up. So somewhere in this video, a single still image of a hedgehog is hidden. If you can find where the hedgehog is, leave a comment below with the timestamp, and if you get it right, I will respond to you with a trophy emoji. All right, so let's get into the articles. So the first one, it might seem like these videos are always going to revolve around food in some way, but I can't help but be drawn to these kind of stories. Our first story here is a bit older, it's about a year old, but researchers at the University of Toronto have converted used cooking oil from McDonald's into 3D printing resin material. So check out this butterfly which was printed using the oil from McDonald's food. This potentially provides a solution for two different issues, the high cost of resin 3D printing material and the high cost of disposing used cooking oil. The fast food based 3D printing resin is easier on the environment as microbes can more easily break down the material which is based on fat. The team approached multiple fast food restaurants to participate in the study, but only McDonald's accepted, so, you know, good for them for doing so. However, I can't help but assume that all the other restaurants were terrified of their customers knowing their food products can be used for small-scale manufacturing material, and after all these years, McDonald's just realizes it doesn't matter what you can manufacture with their food, people will keep eating it anyway. So let's move on to the second article. The next story sticks with the theme of unconventional 3D printing materials, but this one is much more disgusting. So scientists recycle termite waste into circular economy 3D printing material. So in other words, researchers in Germany developed a new 3D printing material from termite poop. Here is a picture of a cube that was made with the termite poop. And it, the termite poop contains powdered wood particles, which offer a more sustainable material source. And I have so many questions. Like, where did this idea come from? Was someone just collecting termite poop and then looking for something to do with it? Germany's research is just on a whole other level. <laughs> Moving on. Last week, we talked about the first 3D printed house that was listed on the open market. While looking through the internet for other architectural structures made with 3D printing, I found a very awesome story. So a nonprofit called Thinking Huts is trying to increase global access to education using 3D printing. By partnering with a design studio based in San Francisco, they've created a design for an easily printable modular school. The school is going to be printed in Madagascar, and the concept images are just awesome. So look at this image here. So this is what the exterior of the learning hut will look like. And it uses a textile pattern, and it's also from locally sourced materials. So here's another image of the exterior of the hut, and these are concept images. This is not the final product. So here's a chart that kind of shows how the design is modular. So each little node in a circular design is for a specific purpose. So one is the classroom, one is a music pod, one is a science lab, and the other is a computer lab, a wood shop, and a teacher's room. They're also designed to be self-sustaining. So if you look at this image here, it looks like there are solar panels on top. And here is the interior. It's just a beautiful design. I wish I went into school in a place like this. So the 3D printing makes it much cheaper to build and easier to manufacture in areas with a limited amount of labor or that are just hard to reach with traditional construction equipment. As I said before, they're designed to be self-sustaining and the Madagascar print will be used as a case study before taking the project to other countries. Well, that is all for this week. I will leave links to the articles in the description below. Did you find these interesting? Did you spot the hedgehog? Are you going to start collecting termite poop? Let me know down in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching.